Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about the chapter exploring MS Excel 2010 and this is chapter 6 in our class 6 uh, textbook. So in the already we have in chapter 5 we have learned about uh, how to create a Microsoft Excel page. Uh, how would this look, look like? What is the window of Microsoft Excel? What are the components we have in that? And how to add um, data in that? How to use formulas functions all those we have learned in chapter 5 and in chapter 6 we'll be learning some extra informations and how to work more and find with microsoft excel okay let's get into the video so the first topic we are going to learn is what are the operations we can do on cells rows or columns okay so first we can insert a row a column or a cell okay and the other thing is we can even delete the row cell and column and then we can even resize the cell row and column so these are the operations we can do on cell row and column so now uh, i'll be taking you to the excel screen and i'll be teaching you how to insert how to delete and how to resize so this is how our excel page look like already we have learned many informations on this okay now let me have uh, let me add some data so in this excel i have some data so now we are going to see for all the three operations the first one we are going to learn is how to insert a new row or column i'm going to add one more subject between c and d that is subject three okay which means my subject three column should come between our c and d so what i where i have to insert on d we have three ways to insert a column same for the row also so now for inserting the column just click on the column heading right click on it when you right click you will be getting a list okay so now here we have insert option just click on the insert option a new column will get inserted that's it a new column got inserted now if you check here the total was in d column now that has been pushed to the right side that is to e and the new column has been named as D. Okay, now we can give this name as subject 3. Okay, and we can enter even the marks for that student. Okay, so this is how we can insert a column. Okay, this is one way of inserting the column. The other way of inserting the column is here we have insert option. Just click here over here and select insert sheet columns. A new column get inserted. This is another way of inserting the column. Second way okay so now i'm just going back now we are going to insert a row the third way of inserting the column i'll teach you later first way of inserting the column is clicking on it and right click and selecting insert option second one select the column go here and select insert column sheets okay now the same way we are going to insert the row also right click and select insert right click on the row heading now the value which were in 3 has been pushed down. This just named as 4. And the new row is named as 3. Okay. And we can insert the values over here. And same way, select the row. Go and select insert sheet rows. A new row will get inserted. So, these are the two ways to insert a column and row. Okay. So, now I am just getting back. Next, the third way. Before learning the third way of inserting the row and column, we are going to learn how to insert a cell. Now, I am just going to insert a new cell over here. Previously, we were inserted the entire column and row. Now, we are going to insert a new cell. Cell is nothing but a single box. Okay. So, right click the same procedure and select insert. Now, we will be getting a small dialog box. Insert dialog box. Okay. Here, we have four options. Shift the cells right, shift the cells down, entire row and entire column. Suppose if I select shift the cells right, these two values will be pushed to the right side and a new cell will be inserted here in C2. Value in C2 will be pushed to D2. Value in D2 will be pushed to E2. Okay, so we'll be getting a new cell, new box in the place of C2. Okay, so this is shift the cells right. What is the meaning of shift the cells down? C2 will go to C3, C3 will go to C4, so that we will get a new box in C2. Okay, so first I will show how to insert, uh, how to sh uh, shift the cells right. I am just selecting first option. Okay, so once you clicked OK, your values will be pushed to the right side. Look at this, 
so we have got a new box over here this is new cell okay so the second option the second option shift the cells down okay that's it a new uh, cell got inserted okay then what is the third way of inserting a row and column so when you have this insert dialog box you can see these two options entire row and column entire row will insert a new row entire column will insert a new column so this is the third way of inserting row and column okay so hope inserting is clear next we are moving on to the topic deleting same way same procedure right click and select delete option that particular column will get deleted even for row right click and select delete that particular row will get deleted okay and yeah again here we have delete option delete cell delete row delete column anything can be done and even we have delete sheet okay so same thing will happen and again even for deleting a cell we have but now in this we are getting two different options like uh, shift cells left so when i delete this cell the values will be in e2 will be moved to d2 it is not deleting a single value you are deleting the box at all so this e2 will be pushed to the left side okay now uh, we don't have any value here so i'm just deleting this one right clicking and select delete option shift the cells left I'm just clicking okay so 56 got deleted and this cell has been pushed to the left side this is the meaning of shift the cells left and the next one shift the cells up same thing will happen this 56 will get deleted and this 78 will go up that is c3 will become c2 okay so this is how we delete the content okay so the third option we have seen is resizing okay so here we have an option directly we can increase or decrease the size of the column or row by just clicking and dragging on the line the margin of the column this is one way of resizing the cell or column and here we have format option under home tab so here we have row height auto row height so row height if you click you'll be getting a dialog box where you can enter the values manually okay so and then we have out of it row height it will be fit based on the values we have in our row same way we have for column this is for width Okay, so I've given 50, so it is like this. Auto fit column, it just fit based on this particular cell. But see, the subject 2 is just hiding, so we can do this. Okay, and this if you check, I can go to default width. Okay, so this is how we can resize the row, cell and column okay so both all these three options are clear so after this we have what are the formats available in excel okay so as we all know we are working with numbers and uh, text in excel how can we convert the text to uh, numbers and numbers to text all these we can see okay so by default each cell in a worksheet uses the general number format when you enter um as when you enter the number it will be like a number or it will be go to the general format okay excel provides seven categories of numeric formats for the numbers to appear differently so that i'll show you one by one now so here are the numeric formats we have number currency accounting percentage fraction scientific and special so these are the numeric formats we have in microsoft excel so now we are here so if i go here to the numbers it is showing here as num general okay even when i go to the uh, text which i have the alphabets which i have i when i check here it is showing as number okay so this is what called general number format okay and if you click over here you will be getting all those uh types whichever we have seen in the powerpoint okay so these are the formats we have number currency accounting date time percentage okay fraction scientific uh, scientific and text okay let's uh 
see all these one by one. So actually, um, actually, it is there as general now. Uh, if I go for number, that's fine. That is that it will be automatically considered as number only. Now I'm just clicking on currency. If you click on currency, the currency value will be added automatically. Look at this. Now paisa has been added automatically, and here rupee symbol. Okay. And if you wanted to change the uh, currency value, here it is there: English, India, US, UK, Euro, Chinese. Okay. And if you wanted to add more formats, you can add off, add from here. Okay. So this is changing the numbers into currency. And then here the next option we have is accounting. Again, it will be like numbers only and short date and long date. The same date, whichever is available on the system will be displayed. Okay. And then percentage. So this is how the percentage will look like. And then we have scientific, the exponential format. And then we have text option. Okay, so if you convert the number into text, you cannot make any addition, subtraction. I mean, you cannot make any calculations on that particular value. Okay, so that is the purpose of converting from uh, text to number or number to text. Okay, and you can see the percentage over here, right? You, ha you have the comma style. Okay, and then this these are the two increasing and decreasing decimal values. These two options will help in increasing and decreasing the decimal values. This will increase the decimal value and this will round off automatically. Suppose if I have like 78.89. Oh, see, if I increase, it will come like this. When I decrease, it will go like this. So it will get round off automatically. Okay. So I think um, this first part is getting over of this particular chapter. I'll meet you in the second part of the same chapter. Thank you. Happy learning.